So at Confluency, we get asked all the time, should I do video? How do I do video? And video is great. Um, you can do one like this yourself. Uh, you can use third-party videos. We've started to do an inventory of mostly insurance company videos, and a lot of them are really, really well done. And it occurs to me, looking at them, nobody sees them. You look, you can see views on YouTube, 11, 50, 91, whatever. Nobody's seeing these really well done videos. So part of what you have to think of when you're doing a video is who do you want to view it? What's the message? What do you want to happen? And then that will kind of dictate how do you distribute it? How do you let people know it's there? How do you get people to that video? You know, why am I on the beach right now um, doing this video? Partly it's just happens to be where I am. Um, but it, I was reminded of one of the videos, one of these company videos, really, really well done. Their claims disaster response to Superstorm Sandy. And what would you do with a video like that? Add it to your website, put it on Facebook. Uh, that's great. But um, people are really hypersensitive to claim service, quality claims after a disaster, whether it's a fire or an earthquake or a hurricane. And that's part of your value proposition. It isn't just a premium. It's not just we're going to save you money, right? It's we're going to make sure that if, if it's necessary, you're going to have really good claim service. So when you send a quote out to somebody, you say, look, we're quoting you with this company because they provide, one of the reasons is we they provide really, really good claim service. And to see what we mean, take a look at this video. Solves the distribution problem, gets you some views, furthers your value proposition, and probably helps you close some quotes.